is a pragmatic and iconic leader known for leading by example, inspiring and encouraging others, taking responsibility for losses and giving credit to his followers for victories. He keeps his focus on solutions and leaves the blame game to the weak. Voracious reader, philosopher, dedicated, committed, meticulous, intelligent, focused and creative, a true and resilient leader he is. The hardworking, reliable and seasoned administrator's contributions earned him the appointment of permanent secretary, public service office on the 9th of July 2018. He's very agile. When you see him amongst the staff, you will need somebody to introduce him as the permanent secretary before you know that is a, a palm sec. He radiates joy. Extremely cerebral, loyal, very hardworking. And that will give them assignments. It says within limited reasonable time to complete the assignment and is one responsible for following up on directives for ministries and department and does the coordination very well. A very fine gentleman, very astute, uh, eager to work. He's a resolute and hardworking. He was prepared to learn. And uh, I can say that Rama passed through a lot of people in the service. And he was able to take from each and every boss he worked with. An unarguably intelligent and devoted Muslim, Born on the 5th of June 1960 to Alaji Abdul Rafiu Adisa Brahma and Alaja Faliat Ashabi, who hailed from Lagos State, began his education at St. David's Primary School in 1996 and proceeded to Lagos Baptist Academy, or Banikoro, where he obtained West African School Certificate in 1976. <laughs> Simple, blunt, straightforward, frank, and assuming intelligent and hardworking. He's very, very, very much brilliant. He's a genius during our own set. During the school, not give us an assignment. Even at school, at lesson, people used to move towards him in order to help us, that to solve our school subject. And it's also gentle. Some of our, uh, our mates used to play around. You move from one place to another place to another place. For him, he played the two and gone inside and started reading that he has an edge over Ox. Mr. Brahma also proceeded to the Federal School of Arts and Science Lagos in 1976 for a two-year rigorous advanced level studies where he was awarded a high school certificate HSC in 1978. With these under his belt, he forged ahead to the prestigious University of Ibadan in 1979 and backed a degree in political science in 1983. When we were growing up, he used to be a very quiet and gentle guy. He wasn't as rascal as, uh, as we are, you know, uh, very brilliant. Before we were separated, he used to be a very smallish guy, but now uh, he's bigger than I do. The Mr. Brimo that I know from 79 had never changed. Uh, he likes book a lot. He's one of those scholars. He likes to read a lot. He reads and then he likes praying. He doesn't miss all those prayers of five times. He will always find time to go and say his prayers when we're in school. And he stayed like that up till 
this same age. Though now that we are old, we hardly see like in those days. But once in a while, I run into him. He will tell me, Duncan, your fellow pray. Just an encouragement to other people. You see, he encourages you. He tells you, he holds your hand, tells you the, some truth about you that you may not like, but in a very loving way. Let me give you an example. Then she once held my hand and told me, Pat, don't you think this drink, you should stop it? You see, he didn't condemn me for drinking. But he said it in a loving way. And he said, that touching me, touching me, touching me. If it were some other people, they would just condemn you outright. His distinguishing attributes and immense contribution to the state impelled the Lagos State Government to sponsor his master's degree in public administration from the Obafemi Awolo University, Leife, in 1994 and his postgraduate certificate in management consulting from the Administrative Staff College of Nigeria, Badagri, Askan, in 1995. There is one adjective that can qualifies Mr. Grammar as a quintessential personality, an astute administrator very humorous, an orator, a great teacher with a unique style of delivery. Let us debate, you mention it. That is bravo for you. Highly intelligent and versatile officer. Ask him to, ask him to, to, to discuss on this subject, pro or con. At the end of the day, you'll be confused where you want to go. He's intelligent, incisive, very precise, he has what they call free spirit. That is, he can flow with many people, you know, no matter your religion, no matter your age, no matter your ethnic background, and so on. I know you to be of very high intellectual prowess, and as an admin officer, he has the eyes for intellectual events. As a boss, as a friend, as a mentor, who is an articulate, proactive officer who you can but love. Fantastic, a great UI. You can't take your eyes off Mr. Abraimo when you see him. Empowered by his academic background, he positioned himself to serve Lagos State in the capacity of an administrator 35 years ago. His journey started as a higher executive officer at Ministry of Establishment, Training and Pensions. He's an intelligent person, extremely intelligent. So, um, he's somebody who takes mentoring as something so key. He's in his own stride, has done so much to also share knowledge and experience within the service. He's uh, an officer that is well-grounded, a versatile officer that at any point in time you can vouch for. He has always been somebody that is deep. And what I say deep is somebody that takes an issue and is able to dissect it, analyze it, and prefer solutions. He's someone that has listening here. He's a good orator. He speaks very, very, very well. Then, he has a very high sense of humor, and he's a welfareist. If we work late, you know, no one can be complaining that I'm hungry. He will go to his office, look for some something. That, ah, oh, don't go and buy anything, no. Oh yeah, um, he will call somebody. Go to my fridge, bring this, bring that for them. He's a very, very, very good man. Mr. Brimer served in several capacities in the Judicial Service Commission, Speech Writers Villa, Lagos State Traffic Management Authority, Motor Vehicle Administration Agency, Ministry of Works and Public Service Office, amongst others. Looking at Brimer, you have the impression of uh, a carefree, Jovia man. But behind that bell, you have a seasoned and consummate administrator with solid intellectual background. 
Mr. Brahmo has a very analytical mind, very scientific in his approach to issues, to assignment. He's somebody that anyone that wants to make a success of his career in service will want to emulate. He's also very jovial. When, when, he, when we are in a meeting like this, he will come out with uh, some uh, proverbs that will depict the situation that we are finding ourselves in. I always find joy in being in a uh, statutory meeting with him because he will make, he will make such meetings to be very lively. During his service at the Judicial Service Commission, he led the state delegation on scout search to South Africa, Ghana and Gambia and established an in-house committee to review sports development proposals. People refer to us as either Tom and Jerry or you find people calling us uh, Ibeja Aguilero. I remember somebody saying uh, he's either my second wife or I'm his third wife. He's, he's somebody who believes so much in God. Uh, he used to say that uh, whatever God withholds from you can never be given to you by a human being. He not only practices that, he believes so much in that aphorism. He's a honest person, very hard working. If we are say hard working, he's a workaholic. He takes his job seriously and uh, takes all risk that will make him achieve his goal. As the chief of staff of the speech writer's villa, he introduced the bilateral speech rehearsal for the governor before the delivery date and obtained a standing approval for the villa to be represented at all courtesy calls for better speech writing. Hey, he enjoys his work during those periods, those times that we used to have examination for our promotion. He's sure to come up and of course even as he's delivering, he adds a lot of jibes to it. You know, when you do that, people won't forget what it is you have taught them. When it comes to knowledge acquisition, you can give it to him. It's one to be reckoned with. In terms of sharing of knowledge, he has been there. In terms of policy development of this thing, just go to him. He's going to analyze you. It's the kind of boss that would ensure that whatever he gives to you, you do it, and then he would even assist you in achieving it. He guides you. The assignments that he gives to you is quite outstanding. In 2016, he remarkably vault-faced Lagos State Traffic Management Agency into a world-class traffic agency known for ensuring hitch-free traffic flow on Lagos roads. He achieved this by creating five additional zones, two area commands, and one district, and introducing the LASMA band, the LASMA Academy for Manpower Development, and the LASMA Officers Mess. I know him to be a detailed man, very organized, a proper admin person. Discipline-wise, he had to like instill discipline in the men. He, we call him Didi. He's, um, growing up with him was fun. He's an extremely easygoing, lovable, loving, caring, forthright, very honest, um, very hardworking, very dedicated to family and school and work. I remember he taught me how to study and he used to relish my siblings and I with several stories, moonlight stories, and he's an you know, ex ex extremely witty person. And I think I was able to um, pick a lot of um, wit, if I can say so myself, from him. His pursuit of change and innovation led him to creatively ease the process of registering motor vehicles with the Motor Vehicle Administration Agency by discouraging the involvement of third parties in the registration of vehicles and introducing the automated platforms for registration and insurance. He also computerized the allocation of household and office equipment to staff quarters and offices. Beshi has remained very consistent. He has remained very dedicated and focused as an officer. It's what you can regard as an administrator par excellence, who will discharge his duties without fear or favor, but with human compassion. He enjoys the work. A gifted orator, even in both 
languages of English and Yoruba. He can write poem even in Yoruba. When you talk about Mr. Grimo and work, that is one of the best brains that we can ever have in service. Even before we came together, had been my teacher. You know, each time we are preparing for promotion exams, he will come in to lecture us. And then I'm sure nobody in service as at this moment will tell you that he has not met with Ramo or the other in terms of well, in terms of you know him coming to put knowledge across to to you or impact knowledge into you. In the course of his duty at the public service office, he was actively involved in the aesthetic facelift of the public service office and revamped the security committee of the two secretariats for maximum safety of personnel and properties. He leads his team and tells them what to do and he comes personally, he doesn't even delegate, he comes personally representing the ministry and that in itself shows that he wants it to be done properly. During his service, the position papers he presented on the public service reforms 1995 and civil service reforms 1998 formed the state government's position on each reform. Mr. Brimer was also a member of the committee on the review of the 1992 civil service rules, which became the public service rules 2015. When you say Mr. Brimer, you are talking about epitome of knowledge. It's someone that bring out the topic, he will have something to write, he will have something to say. You can't meet him unexpected. I could remember when I was to wed, he, he actually participated a lot. You won't know whether he's my brother or he's my uncle. He, we think we are one family. I'm so proud of his doggedness, commitment, courage, determination and discipline. He's ready to help at all times. He's a real man and I really love working with him because he's in, even since when I've been working in Alausa, I didn't, I didn't see somebody like him because he's a good man. Work with everybody, play with anybody and he doesn't downgrade anybody. Mr. Bashir Ademuiwa Brahma is a distinguished public servant, a dogged administrator, a loving father with an embodiment of humor. My husband, Bashir Ademuiwa Brahma, fondly called Bibi from, my, from his home, is a scholar of both Western education and Islamic education. Whenever he impresses me, I call him smart. Our children and every member of the family, my own family and his own family, are fond of him because he has impacted so much on us. We decided to make a large foundation of our home. Alhamdulillah. A religious man. A man that a woman wants to stay with all alive. He's a man of people. He doesn't neglect people. He's a man that interacts with people. Nobody comes around him that will live unhappy. He's a real principled person. And whether you like it or not, there are so many values that he also, for, for, first of all, he, has, he possesses himself and does it as, a, as an example that you even want to pick without you knowing it. The biggest values I, I admire in him is the romantic um, character. And I think I got that from him. He never pressures anybody to be that much as he is I remember when I wanted to study in the university, no one did really pressure me to study something that he wanted or support whatever you want and he wishes the best for you. One of the values I learned from him is content and being responsible and responsive. That is such a lovely person. He's a teacher. He's a teacher, he's a husband, he's a father, he's a grandfather. He's so many things to me. Mr. Brimer is not only intelligent and amusing, but stands tall amongst his peers and is endearing to all around him. We call him Bishi. Ekunrere is a very nice man. Very, very nice, very godly man. There is nothing that happens in the family. If Bishi has about it, he's going to take it up and he'll make sure that everything comes to the mala, the normal way. That is a kind of person that is willing to lay down his life for you. 
irrespective of your religion, your race, your individual differences, he's just ready to be there for you. As he bows out of service after a remarkable and highly successful career, his immense contribution to the development of the state will leave an indelible mark in our hearts. Amma, <laughs> Amma,